Hello, today I'm going to be your host, the wonderful and amazing Kevin Charisma, and today we're going to be asking the question of why do the AI occasionally pass through fortifications and solid walls? So we're doing a few tests today, uh, preliminarily we're going to start with um, some single AI which aren't group 21, so they're all independently minded and be independently navigating this course, and we're going to see what precisely causes the AI to walk through walls. Now we're using a sterile environment in the virtual arena, please know that it doesn't matter what map you use or what assets you use, that all the results are the same. I've tested this and this is just the uh, final test. So we can see the individual AI ungrouped AI has no trouble uh, navigating the uh, course and um, everything seems to be working as intended so far. Next up we'll be doing a, a group test to see how the AI reacts in a group to the uh, obstacle course. Simultaneously that of course is running in the background just as a uh, you see my uh, assistant Frank there didn't really make it, so that's unfortunate. We'll be uh, sending him home with his parents in a body bag, I guess. Just the whole body bag, but anyhow, you can see the, um, the group AI seems to have no problem navigating the uh, fortification course whatsoever. And so it doesn't seem to be anything to do with group AI at all. They seem to have no problems navigating the uh, course. Next up, we're doing the ultimate test of uh, AI in ingenuity and seeing if they can navigate a simple box and uh, if they can get to the other side and get in without phasing through any of the uh, walls there. We'll be using a group AI and a singular AI just to see with um, any differences. It doesn't look like it. it. Seems the group AI has more difficulty trying to get in than the group, but that uh, sorry than the single one. But that seems to be all in order, what you'd expect. And uh, they haven't observed any clipping through the H bar. And they all seem to make it inside the uh, course without any troubles whatsoever. So next up, I thought maybe it's a stress thing, and maybe when there's a lot of AI on a server, that maybe that causes uh, some of the processes to get dumped in favor of keeping the game actually capable of going. Now we can see here, the AI is a bit more derpy. They uh, have a bit of trouble actually figuring out what to do and have a bit of trouble navigating, but no phasing or walking through walls just yet. So it doesn't appear that the problem seems to be bound in the, uh, comp well, the AI's capacity or CPU usage. They all seem to be navigating the uh, obstacles with relative ease. So what seems to be the problem? Well, we switch out from a sterile map into the Tanoa Mountain Volcano in Dukumabob, and just to see how uh, a real environment affects the AI. Now, most of the AI seem to be working uh, normally, but here we capture a glimpse of a um, random soldier crawling underneath a fence, which you shouldn't be able to. Those fences have a collider box, they're not actually a damaging uh, wire fence, they're just a wall, which is fancy looking. So the AI shouldn't be crawling underneath them, but in a second we'll have a closer look at what happened there. And we observe that the other AIs don't seem to have any other problems to um, themselves of never getting the uh, obstacle course. So as we go back here, and we're going to observe this AI and just see what exactly is going on over here. Now, I've picked some rather rough terrain to see if there's anything to do with the terrain affecting. You can see here is a quite a solid wall, but uh, the AI is having none of that, and it's just crawling underneath the fence, and he doesn't seem to give a crap. Now, obviously, this is something the player cannot do, so uh, clearly the AI here is at an advantage. And I, uh, after this, I did a more rigorous test of a bit more of a slope and h-bar. Some of the h-bar are 90 degree angle, there's a bit of a glitch, to, you know, maximum glitch to see what's going on. We can see some of the AI go underneath the 90 degree h-bar, but others go through the uh, normal h-bar that's uh, parallel with the ground, and something also the AI, oh, sorry, the player cannot do. So what's happening here? Possibly that the AI and the player don't share the same collision system, and that the AI's collision system is a bit more uh, flexible and lenient for the AI, so they don't get stuck somewhere, or possibly... Uh, it could be a myriad of reasons, so, you know, not much attention to detail to the AI, but uh, it's clearly something the AI have to, well, not have to deal with. So if you're planning a mission in Zeus, the editor, or possibly using a fortification mod, try to put your fortification walls or on that on flat terrain so as to keep the AI out, because if you put them on slopes, you're going to have a, um, well, you're going to have extra friends over, let's just say that. Now, final test here, we can just see that when it comes to buildings, the AI regard the walls as more, um, guidelines and actual rules, and they don't seem to give two shits for where they end up, so to speak. 
actual baked in buildings, they seem to be better at navigating, although occasionally they just face through doors, so uh, don't worry about that. But anyway, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, AI is weird.